praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God, God is, is a good, good God. God. God is awesome God. Yes, yeah. is. God is wonderful. He's faithful. He never fell. He never changed. Amen. He is the King of Kings Amen. and the Lord of Lords. So we have question and answer. And uh, we hope and believe that God is going to help us to be able to give a great advice. Amen, amen. All right. Amen. So um, we got a letter from Jazzy. Hi, Henry and Monique. I love your ministry. It has taught me a lot and really blessed me. I have been dealing with a controlling person in ministry for about 10 years. Halfway through the 10 years, the veil came off and I found out how controlling and manipulative narcissistic behavior she is. I have been suffering in silence and it has been very hard to disconnect from her because of how she is one way in public and then verbally abusive in private. Scriptures are used as a weapon and taken out of context. Wow. A lot of times she has contacted me at odd hours and will make up scenarios in which I am out to get her, which have no facts, evidence, or make sense. She is literally subtle with her behavior and is aware of this because she will alter in front of people she wants to hide this from. A lot of people close to her have taken her side. I feel alone in dealing with this. It is extremely uncomfortable being in her presence in person. How should I handle this? Thank you both for your time. Hmm. Good question. It was very easy yeah. to answer. Very easy. Number one thing that I, I'm going to make clear to everyone watching this video, when you are dealing with people that always use scriptures uh, to really want to cage you, that's the real people that you need to run away from. Mm -hmm. And it, like if you want to cry, they use scripture. If you want to anything, anything, or if they want to manipulate you, they use scriptures. That's the people that you already know. Wow, these people are so religious. You she don't got need a Jezebel to, spirit. You don't need to be around those people. Mm -hmm. it, 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 you don't, like, this whole situation is a bondage. Uh -huh. It's beyond control. It's beyond manipulation, manipulating people. It's not of God. This person knows exactly what she's doing. And she's she's really enjoying everything that she's doing to you. And uh, she's praying and hoping that you never wake up from this. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And go ahead, baby. Um, this reminded me of a whole situation I seen like maybe 15 years ago. I was watching a video and they said, if you get in contact with a person who has a Jezebel spirit, run. And I'm telling you that video, it made me laugh because, uh, but it's the truth though. Yeah. It's the truth. Um, I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out, are you on a church with around her? And you know, you have a church family and you see her there. So that's what I was trying to figure out. Um, is it, why is it so hard for you to disconnect from her? You know, um, sometimes you have to be straightforward. A lot of people don't like straightforwardness, but this situation is a must. You need to just tell her straight up. You can say it in a nice way. Hey, um, we just need to disconnect. And, um, and it seemed like y'all have a close friendship with other people. If people do not believe you of, uh, because they're taking, um, what's it called? They're taking her side first. That is showing me that they don't care about you as well. One thing I, as myself, have learned, if people uh, believe lies about you, they're not your friend. And when they don't want to be my friend and treat me with respect, I don't need to be in their presence because that is kind of like an enemy in a way, you know? 
Um, I think even the Bible says don't sit at the table with your enemies. But I'm a, I find that scripture. See if I can find that scripture for you. But I, I wouldn't be around them. Um, I have to bring my personal life in this, right? So it, I had a job, right? And um, this this particular man lied on me at at the job that I worked for for like four to five years. So he was spreading rumors about me. And uh, these particular women that I mostly worked around, they consider me as their friend, good friend. You know, you know, we bought each other birthday presents. We bought each other Christmas presents. Right. Um, then when the rumor had spread it, it had got to it had received, you know, had got to them. Um, so they, you know, they asked me about it. I'm like, that is a lie. I told them that was a lie. And I said, you, you, you believe that? Cause they was coming up like they believed it. And they was like, well, we don't know what to believe. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. It's all good. So, um, working around them, I, I did, I did distance myself away from them. Um, I told them that I'm disappointed in them for believing something like that. And, um, uh, later on I did quit the job. I never contacted them because, um, if you can't trust me in any relationship I'm in, friendship, whatever, you know, we don't need to be hanging around. Don't waste my time and don't waste your time. We're not in elementary school anymore. We're not in middle school. We're show not in high school. We're grown people. Even if I was in high school, I wouldn't play that crap. Um, I think that you need to tell her straight up. Hey, um, we're no longer friends. You need to be strong. Um, cause it's coming off like you have a little fear in you to, um, distance yourself from her. 10 years is a long time. 10 years is a long time. You're, I want you to know that you're stronger than what you think you are and you don't have to have a friend. You know that, right? You, you don't have to have a friend. And if you do get a friend, get a, get a one who, who is very loyal to you and it will have your back. Yeah. <laughs> it, like it just, uh, like everything my wife said made a lot of sense, but me, I'll walk away and never contact you, never tell you my life, not like what I'm doing, what I'm, what my, you know, but I, I will, I will want you to go with what my wife said, if you will, just, uh, call her talk to her but if you don't have that uh strength or energy to do deal with that you know you can just you don't you don't need there's no all that reason you don't have that, to explain yourself that's what you're saying yeah i totally agree with that there is no other reason that makes that will make you to still stand or have in co a contact or I connection with this person i totally agree with that because uh, some ahead. people like this are very manipulative. They are. And all you she's going to do is manipulate her over yes. the phone or yeah. in person. Yeah. You can, a lot of them, they go, yeah. oh, what do I do now? Well, how do I hurt you? They play victim. Yes. They make you, feel, they make you, okay, you go home, you're thinking, maybe I'm thinking too much. Maybe I'm seeing this different mm -hmm. way. Maybe, maybe, yeah. you know. Yeah. Some people are different, you know, but when they are really manipulated, like set and really walking in them, they know how to get you. I believe that she has a Jezebel. I know she has a Jezebel spirit because I heard it. I heard the Lord say that. So um, this situation, I would take, I know my husband said, take my advice. I would ask you to take my husband's advice. I would just cut ties with her. She don't need no explanation. Um, I know a lot of people want explanations because they, they call it, well, they, they ghosted me. Well, sometimes that happens because sometimes when you get on the phone or talk to a grown person, they, they take it to a whole nother level and then more lies are spread. Yeah. So, um, you got to weigh your options out. Like, do you want them to say, well, she ghosted me. She didn't contact me no more. She don't answer my calls. Or rather she say, well, she, she made, she talked to me on the phone and she said, I'll so our video cut off. Yeah. So uh, we're going to try to um, finish it of what we were trying to say. So uh, what I was trying to say is um, that the way the situation is, um, it won't be a good, it won't be any uh, good coming out of it. Mm -hmm. However you do it, 
Either you just cut ties with her completely with no explanation or you give her explanation. And yeah. the thing is, it seemed like with her and the vibe of how she is and her friends, um, you have to, like I said, like I don't know if uh, we're going to still put it, but I was saying you got to weigh your options out yeah. and um, it won't be a good. Only thing that's good is going to come out of this if you just move on. Yeah. And that's the best thing to do is for you to just move on and uh, so that you can be at peace. And um, anyone that is connected with her, you need to let let the ties go with them as well. Because yeah. obviously they have sided with her. And um, definitely you see who your true friends are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that anything else? That's, <laughs> oh, listen, if you haven't subscribed to Henry and Money, go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make, make you a cool, cool Christian. Christian. Because cool Christians, we, we hang, hang out, out over here. here. God bless you all. We love you guys. Bye, y'all. Bye.